I can't believe she's let you move back in, you jammy swine. I know. I'm still persona non grata everywhere else. When I start my community payback this afternoon. Oh, oh, nothing too strenuous, I hope. Got broken ribs. I can't wait to put on my orange bib. Orange is my third favourite colour. I think they actually make you wear it so that you do stand out and people can heckle you. Well, why would anybody heckle you when you're repaying your debt to society? I mean, I did get off pretty lightly, considering. Paul had been the judge of being hung, drawn and quartered. I just hope all that stuff you told your mum last night is genuine. That you will change. Because I think you are drinking in the last chance saloon. I know. And on the bright side, community payback. It's a good way to right some of the wrongs. Build bridges with some of the people I've hurt. Hey, Billy. Please tell me she not let you wheedle your way back in again. Todd Grimshaw, reporting for duty. Your gaffer today is uh, Reverend Mayhew. Billy? What are you doing here? I've been sent to do my community payback. I didn't know you'd be leading it. Well, don't just go and clean some graffiti off Rita's wall. I don't want you here. I need to make things right, and here's a good place to start. You can see how sorry I am. Just get out of my sight. Calm down, Billy. He's my ex. I'm his victim. One of them. There's no way this is a coincidence. Who did you have to bribe to get placed here? Nobody. This is a stunt. So you can try and get back into my life. I pleaded guilty. This is my punishment. We've seen dead in a bib like this normally. You cannot work in my soup kitchen. I have to, by order of a judge. Right, well, close the place down then. I'm sorry, guys. You can't do that. But people go hungry. You're really passionate about this work. It's the only way I can get you to leave. OK, I came here in good faith, ready to work. I'll stay out your way. You can ignore me if you like. You should be languishing in a cell and being flogged and turned on a pillory. Fine. I'll go. Take it you're not here for the soup. Well, I, I'll take a bowl if it's going spare. Oh, well, this is for the lost and in need, Mary. And the last time I checked, you were neither of those things. Well, that's not strictly speaking true. I am in need of something, as it so happens. Mm, frontal lobotomy, apparently. How could you and Eileen forgive him after everything he's done? Eileen's his mother, and you know better than anybody what she went through last time he disappeared. Mm, fine. What's your excuse? Oh, look, I know you don't want him working here, but they will send him to prison if he doesn't do his community service. Well, that is exactly where he should be. You don't mean that. Yes, I do. This isn't punishment. This is God's work. It's fun. All right, well... Maybe fun's not quite the right word, but it's not unpleasant. No, he should be picking up dog poo or cleaning out bedpans. Well, I, I'm sure there's something equally unpleasant you can you can make him do here. Oh, all the soup kitchens in Manchester, he had to walk into mine. See? When you say it like that, it's quite romantic. Right, yes, understood. <laughs> this won't be the start of a beautiful friendship. Just get out of here before I change my mind. Take a nap. Hello. Soup. 